Hey y'all, my name is Nat. I hope you're having a terrific day today. And for this video, we are gonna be doing my May plan with me. First off, let's look over my yearly spreads. And I'm gonna update these little graphs. So I hit a bit of a slump at the beginning of April, so I only read eight books, but that's still a fair amount. Between those eight books, I read about 2,500 pages. Also, just so you are aware, I recently bought midliners and I have been looking forward to these markers for so long. And if anything requires color this month, I'm using those. So hope you don't mind. Then as normal, gotta update my bookshelves cause I always forget to do that. Next, let's do a quick rundown of my April reading spreads. As I mentioned, I did hit a bit of a slump, so unfortunately a lot of reading plans got canceled this month, but thankfully a good few of them still managed to be completed. I was pretty proud of my Thrills and Chills Readathon bingo card, and I'll put a link to that vlog in the cards up above as well as in the description down below. Along with that, I'll also put a link to the discussion for A Court of Thorns and Roses that I did as a part of a buddy read. Then, like I mentioned, unfortunately, many of my reading plans got canceled due to my slump, so unfortunately, a lot of these spreads went unused. Hopefully I'll get to complete them sometime in the future. Then I actually changed up the way I do my spreads this month. So I had an additional page and decided to put in this quote from The House in the Cerulean Sea, which was a book I reread to try and get out of my slump. Thank God it worked. The quote is, home is where we get to be who we are. I just did this up with some funky fonts and I used a variety of the purple and blue midliners to try and mimic the colors on the cover of the book. All right, and then on to my May reading spreads. So as you can see, there is a new page this month and I decided to steal this calendar layout from Noelle Seven Pages. She does this so that she can easily visualize all the readathons and book clubs and important dates for stuff like that in her journal. And I thought that was really awesome and needed it for this month since I am going to be partaking in two separate readathons. I also decided to go with a red color scheme for the month, so using my midliner and a little bit of red washi tape. The first readathon I am partaking in is May the Force Read With You, which is a Star Wars readathon and it will be lasting all month. Following that is the Shrek readathon, which will be going from May 16th to the 22nd. Then, as you can see, I also included the first week of June at the end of this calendar, and that is because for my Facebook book club, we usually do the discussion for our read at the beginning of the following month, and I've just been very forgetful of that lately, so I thought including it here would hopefully help me to actually partake in that discussion. All right, and then as normal on the next page, we're gonna have my May reading plans. 
First up is my usual reading goals, so a nonfiction book, and this month it's going to be Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hardstark. Following that is a backlisted book, which will be The Red Queen by Christina Henry. Next is my diverse read, and that's going to be Fire with Fire by Destiny Soria. Then a adult book, which will be The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. Following that is a YA book, which will be Lost in the Neverwoods by Ayn Thomas. And then actually a new one, which is a reread, and this could be one of two books, either Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston or Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hartstark again. After that is the book clubs which I partake in. Two of them have not announced their picks for May yet, so those are going to stay blank. But I also have my personal book club, which will be Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas. Then for the Sugar and Spice book club, the first is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, followed by Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. Then finally, my Facebook book club, which is Well Read Till I'm Dead, and that's going to be The Power by Naomi Alderman. The only buddy read I'm going to be partaking in this month is going to be Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston on Mare Reads' Discord. Then just a second time is the readathons, Star Wars, and Shrek. Currently, I am planning to read 11 books this month. All right, and then after that, we are getting into the actual spreads for my readathons. And guys, you're not gonna believe it. I actually drew this month. I usually never do that. So that was a really big deal for me, and I was very proud of these spreads. First is gonna be May the Force Read With You, and I decided to go on the dark side for this one. So I knew I had to do some kind of a Sith theme and decided to use a variety of their lightsabers to segment the page. However, for the actual actual title. It is the Dark Saber, which is technically either a Mandalorian or Jedi Saber, or technically if you know the lore, it's a both. But you know, Dark Saber, Dark Side, kind of worked. First up for the Dark Side prompts, which I'm going to be completing, we have Rule of Two, The Red Queen by Christina Henry, Lightning, The Power by Naomi Alderman, Seduction, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, and then Corrupted, Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hartstark. So the first Sith Saber is actually gonna be Count Dooku's and he was the apprentice to Emperor Palpatine. Following that, we have the neutral prompts, which I am going to be completing. And first one is Telekinesis, and that will be Fire with Fire by Destiny Soria. Following that is Lightsaber, and that will be Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas. The next saber is actually Darth Maul's dual saber. And honestly, if you have only watched the movies, you really don't know the depth of his character. I adore Darth Maul's story arc. It is fascinating. I highly recommend you watch Clone Wars and Rebels to see the full extent of his storyline because it is awesome. Next for the companion prompts, First is Minions, and that one's going to be Galactic Empire for We Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal. Then also First Order and Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. Following that is Bounty Hunters for the neutral ones, and that is Contract Kill, The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. The next saber really needs no introduction, but it is Darth Vader's, and I feel as though I don't have to say anything additional about his character. Everyone knows who he is. The final prompt, which is also on here, is for the group book, and that is The Chosen One, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Then finally, I had to include Asajj Ventress's dual sabers, and she was actually Count Dooku's original apprentice before he took on Darth Maul. If you've only seen the movies, you probably haven't heard anything about her, but she is a total badass. Also in Clone Wars, also recommend you watch for her story arc.
While I wait for all that ink to dry, I am going to continue on to the next side, which is the Shrek readathon. And I tried to sort of mimic the image that Kelsey has created to showcase the adventure you are going on throughout this readathon, but I did so in a very minimalistic way. So you first start in the swamp, and for that one, I'm gonna be reading Fire with Fire by Destiny Soria. Then you will travel into the forests, and that's gonna be We Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal. Then you dance on over to Duloc, and with that one I'll be reading Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hardstark. Next, you rescue Fiona from the Dragon's Keep, and that one will also be We Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal. Then go on your honeymoon. This one is currently undecided as I have three different romance books I'll be reading this month. So one of those could work for this prompt, but I'm just not sure which one it's gonna be yet. Then you're gonna head over to Far, Far Away and this one could either be Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston or An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. After that, you go to the potions factory and this one could be We Free the Stars, The Lost Apothecary, or An Ember in the Ashes. Then finally, I Need a Hero, and this one could either be Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, or Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hardstark. Now that the ink has had a chance to dry, I'm gonna go back in and color everything. Following these, I have my pages red spread. Across my 11 books, I am currently expecting to read a total of 4,358 pages. Then after that is my book blur spread, and honestly, this was really helpful last month and I used it a lot more than I thought I would. Then we're on to my lone book spreads. I only have two of those this month. First is gonna be Lost in the Neverwoods by Aiden Thomas. I decided to go with my tie-dyed purple and blue washi tapes and then use my metallic markers, which were also purple and blue. I just wrote half the title on one of the washi tapes and the other half on the second. Following that is People We Meet on Vacation for Emily Henry, and this is because I am actually co-hosting the discussion with the Sugar and Spice book club this month, and I'm so excited. I went to my sticker book for this because I knew I would have some summery stickers that would fit the vibe that this cover is putting off, and I put a little palm tree along with a bottle of sunscreen. Finally, have to have my brain dump, and please just ignore this weird little doodle thing I did at the bottom. I, I don't know what happened to it, it ended up looking like a very poorly done infinity sign. Then finally, have to have a wrap up page. All right, and then let's do one final flip through.
All right, y'all. And then as always, thank you so much for coming to my channel today, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit like and subscribe down below. I come out with videos on Monday and Friday, but until then, I hope you continue to have a terrific day. Bye.